Hi, it's Anne from the Useless Crafter. So if you remember, <laughs> this is going to be another version of this shaker. Um, and I, I don't know, I feel a little weird, like, um, my next few projects are all, like, uh, related to my brother's celebration of life. And I never, I have never done anything, um, in that category before. I never took orders. I just felt like, uh, I just didn't have, like, creativity for it, I guess, the creative, creative space for it. Um, so I never went down that path and now I feel like I need to, um, and then, you know, there must, there, you know, there's a need out there, right, for anyone who d does want to do the crafts. So I, you know, it's, it feels so out of my space, but I really do want to add this in and so that's what you're going to have for like the next week. So anyway. I am doing a shaker for my brother. My brother used to get a kick out of my crafts and he, you know, I used to make him cake toppers to celebrate different things. So I want to put one for him and for my daughter to hold. And it, can you hear this? I love the sound that it makes, but we're going to go and I'm going to say this kind of applies for also like an adult theme party. Like if you bachelorette maybe or you know someone turning third like you know an older birthday um that you can use this color scheme so i'm going with the color scheme i haven't made it yet i've only designed it but because i know how it turns out i have a feeling that it's going to be good <laughs> so here's a couple of things so instead of having this is like a birthday or i'm sorry a baby shower rattle kind of ish this one's just going to be like a fun rattle maybe something that you would bring to like, you know, like a soccer game or something, right? Like the fans all have like crazy noise makers and stuff. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to go with the theme of more like black, silver, metallic, glitter, that kind of like fancier look. And my brother was a huge uh, brand name whore. <laughs> he loved Dior and Louis Vuitton. So I thought it would be funny um, to have his name in the middle. So it will still be very similar to this one, but I'm actually gonna make some of the confetti. The confetti is gonna have the LV sign and the Dior sign. So I wanna show you how to do that. And I'm changing up what was a circle with hearts to this where it says love. It's kind of hard to read because it's, um, but it's, you know, uh, this is still going to be iron on because it's really thin right there. So I feel like it's going to be easier for us if I did that with iron on. So I'm going to do that with iron on. The LV and the Dior, same thing because it's kind of small. And then Kang, my brother's name, is all going to be iron on. And then it's going to have the outline. It's going to sit on top of that. And it's going to be super awesome. So first thing is let's go to here. And I remember from a long time ago that Tafont had logos. So I went in and sure enough, when I typed in logo, I got clothing brand logos. So um, let's see if I can find it again. I already downloaded it. Um, oh shoot, where is it? It was just here. I was looking at it earlier. Oh, you know what? It was on page two. Okay, so scroll down, go to page two, and it was like clothing logos. Where are you? Here it is, clothing logos, okay? So when you click on this though, you can actually see all the different logos. I didn't know this. I used to just download and then try to figure things out, but look, it has a key. I literally just realized this today. So, um, you know, if you want a Fila, for instance, you would hit type in G. So I found both the, well, I have a funny story too while we're here because where is that Chanel? So Chanel, my brother went to a Chanel store and he, you know, he's jeans, t-shirt kind of guy. And so here's Dior, Dior is R, but Dior had another one too. Anyway, he went into, into Chanel and they gave him no service. He was like, oh, this feels like a Julia Roberts pretty woman moment where she got shunned. So he never bought anything Chanel. It was all Dior and Louis Vuitton, which I think is hilarious because I have neither of those items. But 
So Louis Vuitton is a semicolon and Dior is a question mark. So once you download it, when you download fonts from any site, what you need to do is um, you download it and then you open it and you install it onto your computer. You need to close out of uh, design space. So if you have design space open and you downloaded it in the meantime, it won't show up. You actually have to close out, close everything design space, like all of your um, design space um, tabs, and then open up a brand new one. Once you open it up, it will be in your text box selection and you'll be able to do this. So, all right, let's go back to design space and let's look for all the things. So, you know, these are the two circles to make this, okay? So you're gonna make one circle that's 3.55 and you're gonna make one circle that's 3.11, and I'm gonna show you how to make one of them. So you bring in a circle, and one of them is 3.11, and the other one's 3.55. So I'm gonna click on this one, and I'm just gonna type in 3.55, okay? What you're gonna do, so it's super easy, right? So here are the two circles. What you wanna do is you wanna grab the both of them. Well, first let me duplicate, because I'm always gonna have that in the background. Okay, so you duplicate, here's the thing. You're gonna go to align and you're gonna center it perfectly and then you're gonna slice and that will give you this ring. This ring is the one that slides over the dome and sits kinda on top. It hides all the glue that you needed to put on the dome to the cardstock so that your confetti stays inside the dome. Okay, so we're hiding all the imperfections with this line and that's how you create this line over here. So it's this perfect thing right here, okay? So I am going to delete this because we've already done it. Your dome needs a, like a bottom, right? So the bottom is gonna be 3.2 inches. That is, and I would use like a thicker cardstock because you want it to be kind of like heavy so that you can add your, let me see if I, I don't have an example for you right now, but here's the dome for instance, right? This 3.2 is gonna be this, so that your confetti can stay in the inside. So you want the paper to be sturdy because it's you're gonna hold it and then you're gonna kinda like maneuver around it to glue it down, okay? So that's 3.2, so that's something that you need. This is the ring that's on top. <clears throat> you wanna do the name, <clears throat> excuse me. The name can be, you know, any font that you want. Um, we know that the dome is gonna be 3.2 in diameter, a little bit smaller. So whatever you do, it needs to be smaller than that. In this case, I did it 2.2. And the reason why I stayed really um, under the 3.3 inches, let's say, is because I'm gonna be stacking this. This outline, I'm gonna be using foam tape and I'm gonna stack it like five layers because I want it kind of sitting on top so that you can always see the name, even though there's confetti on the inside and there's a lot of confetti, but you can always read the name. So that's why I made it really short in length because as you get higher in the dome, you have less space, right? So I wanted to make sure that it still fits in the dome but sits high up there so that even with the confetti, you can read everything. Okay, so the, the name I would, you know, around this size is great. Um, weld it, right? So it can be any name and I'll show you this one really quickly. I don't, I think this was Floristia. So it's a font from Creative Fabrica, one of my favorites. And I like it because it's delicate. Um, kind of like, you know, just a really pretty, pretty thing, but not so like, crazy with the swirls. All right. <laughs> so I'm going to type out Kang. All right. Now you can see I switched out for a different H and a different G. I do that with main type and I'm going to show you really quickly. Okay. So main type you can download. It's free. So just Google main type. What I love about it is all your fonts will sit in here and all the characters that it comes with. So look at like this, right? So this G is normally not available if you just type it in design space. So this is how you get all your extra characters. So for instance, let's say I want this G. 
Um, so you can pick any G, right? Uh, am I even in, I'm not even in the right font. So let me go back to you, Floristia. Okay, so in Floristia, let's say I want my G. Here's a G. I don't want this one, but I'm gonna just show you. So I have it selected, I'm gonna hit Control C. I'm gonna go back to Design Space, and when I'm in Design Space, I'm gonna click on a new text box. I need to make sure that this text box is the same font as the font that I wanna drop in. So it is Floristia. So in my text box, I'm just gonna click Control V. So when I click on Control V, here is my new G, right? That's how simple it is. And then all you do on this one is you're gonna ungroup it, because we're gonna remove this G. So I'm just gonna delete it. I'm gonna fill in this G and you can do a lot of other things. You can change out for a different H, a different K, whatever it is that you want. But what you wanna make sure you do though is you want to weld this because it wants to be one thing, right? Not a K cut out and then an H cut out so that you can see all the cut lines. You want the K to be continuous into the H and it flows into the A, okay? All right, then you're gonna resize this, right? To what we said, like in the two-ish, and then you're gonna get an offset. So all you do is you click on the offset button, and the offset, you can, it always defaults to 0.25. It's too thick for me. I don't like 0.25, I like 0.1. So I'm gonna go up here and type in 0.1 and hit the tab key. It should update, okay, and it did update, so it's thinner, right? I'm gonna click on apply. And then once you apply, then you have your your uh, name and the offset. So the offset's gonna sit in here. It's gonna grow bigger, bigger, bigger. Okay, I usually do five layers. Sometimes I end up only doing four layers, but I don't wanna have to cut, because this thing is small. Look, like, it's two and a half inches by one and a half. I don't wanna go back afterwards and realize I wanna cut one more. So I'd rather cut five, and then that's always an option. Okay, so we've got that down. Then the only thing that's left are our um, confetti, our name brand confetti and this love circle frame. So remember, this is the middle piece, right? That's the dome. That's what's going to hold the dome and the sequence in the dome. So you want to make sure that it sits, you know, center in here and then everything is like a little bit bigger. Um, all right. So let's look for this love circle frame. I like the circle images because, or the circle frames, because it matches the dome. So I haven't experimented too much with other shapes. Um, oh, I want circle frame. So type in, in images circle frame, and you will have a lot of options. You'll see the ones that I used before. Um, the one before had hearts on it. Um, you know, maybe something like this if you wanted to do that. This one says lucky. Um, so I found one that said love. It was from this section. And I'm doing another one to, today that I'm using this, but modified. That's a little bit too much for me. But um, so you can see you have a lot of options. And this thing, because it's so thin, I am going to use HTV to iron it on. But the offset will be cardstock and then another offset if I wanted to. Um, so you could do something like this if you really like that. Um, anyway, so you can pick your one. You can scroll down, find the one that we used. I'm going to cancel out of this. When it drops in, you know, you just want to create the offset. I mean, this is one of the favorite things about this project is it's literally just a few things and all the offsets, right? So you create, create this ring, create the circle, that's easy, right? And then now we found this circle frame that we like. We're gonna click an offset and make it 0.1, right? Now here's the other thing. This one is just this. It's the same size. But the reason why I have it completely filled in is to make the whole shaker stable. So if you see mine here, it has a full back. It, that way you can um, make it big. You can add three straws to it and this thing is gonna last. So all you do is you duplicate this. So let's duplicate it. And then on this one, you're gonna go to the contour button 
and you're just gonna click hide all and it's super easy it hid everything <laughs> Okay, so that's like our backmost frame. So this is the way it's gonna sit. This is our backmost layer. This one's gonna be on top, but you're not gonna be able to really see it because it's, you know, the center's covered anyway, right? Then we're gonna have this on top arranged into the front so we can see it. This is gonna sit on top. Um, then we're gonna have our dome. So this is going to arrange center to the front. I mean, obviously change the colors to whatever paper that you want. This is gonna sit kind of like right here. I wanna see the whole word love. And then this is gonna sit, arrange center to the front. This one's gonna sit a little bit up here. It's gonna sit on top of the dome a little bit to cover all of our glue and all of our mistakes. Okay. The only thing left that we have left to do are the logos. So let's go to text. And in our font, we're gonna type in logo. That was what it was called. So here is our clothing logo. And if you remember, it was the semicolon and the question mark. And there it is. All right, I'm gonna ungroup. I don't want the word uh, the words Louis Vuitton on there. So I'm just going to bring in a square and slice that off, okay? So I'm gonna cover that part, grab these two items and slice so that my LV will be by itself. And it's just taking a minute. Okay, here we go. So the LV is by itself. I'm gonna resize it. And then you want to create the offset. And again, I did 0 0.10, so I'm going to type that in again and click apply. And I'm just going to make like 10 each of these. Okay, this I'm going to get rid of. I don't need that. Here's my Dior. I'm going to do the offset. Um. Oh, I must have did a different Dior because look at mine, um, the little circle outline connects to something. Otherwise, this is gonna fall off, which is not good. So I don't know why that's the case. Interesting. I must have used a different Dior because if you remember, a couple of them had multiples. So anyway, I'm gonna make a lot of those and they're gonna sit inside the shaker. All right. I hope that was super easy for you. Let me know what you think. I know I gave you a lot of information, but these are all like um, basics that you should have in your pocket as part of like the tools that you use to use design space. All right, let me know if you have any comments or questions, but I will be making this. I will see you guys next time. Thank you.